perfect. So coming up right now, Jessica Wilson is sitting down with Kamal Jain and Nick Pappas for an interview. Let's go to Jessica. Thank you, Ryan. And this year on the Folk Festival, we decided we wanted to invite some of our friends from the diverse nonprofits all over Lowell um, who do so many wonderful things for our community and find out a little bit about what they do. So I'm sitting here with Kamal, Jane, and Nick Pappas. How are you both today? Terrific. Been great. Thanks Thank for you. inviting us. Absolutely. And we're here to talk a little bit about a program you both graduated from called, it's now called the Mill Cities Leadership Institute. And I think when you graduated, it was the Sandbox Leadership Institute. Correct. Right? So in your own words, can you tell me what that program is? Do you want to begin, Nick? <coughs> uh, sure. Well, um, the program basically it's 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 a way to um, learn more about your community, uh, learn more about yourself, um, and really, for me personally, it helped me uh, develop uh, personally and professionally. Everything I learned in the program, the um, the vi site visits, I was able to just take in and um, it be able to even apply at work. Um, just learning from other individuals from different backgrounds, different uh, ethnicities. Uh, it was just a, a, a very diverse uh, class, very, very uh, energetic, very dynamic. Uh, and Todd, the director of the program, was amazing as well. Um, so mm. I'm really, I'm really glad and I'm really fortunate I went through this program. Amazing. Now mm. you mentioned mm. some really diverse classmates um, from all different backgrounds. Is this program for anyone or what, what kinds of things do you take away from it? It really is. So just to add to what Nick said, the Leadership Institute, some people think that leadership means it's like, hey, it's a management development class, so this is get, you can get promoted at work. It's not at all like a traditional management leadership type of class. It's about saying you can be a leader if you want to be a leader. And it introduces you to people who are leaders in the community doing different types of social services in the for-profit and non-profit and government spaces or in these collaboratives of all of them. And in, so you look at the diversity, you're looking at socioeconomic diversity, you're looking at cultural diversity, you're looking at, you know, historical diversity and, and you know, where are people from? And, you know, we have an amazing diversity right here in Lowell and then throughout the Merrimack Valley. And that was a big thing was to actually say anyone could participate. We had people that were working for groups like Lawrence Community Works and Groundwork Lawrence. We had people from uh, city government and we had people from uh, groups like the Coalition for a Better Acre. We had for-profit sector people like myself and Nick. We, you know, we kind of came on behalf of, or, or under the auspices of our jobs. We both happened to work in, in sort of high-tech uh, roles, and we were able to benefit from that by by being able to grow and show that anyone can can step into a leadership role. It's not, well, who's going to take care of this? Well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And and everybody likes somebody like that on a team, right? Um, so you said you're both in high-tech professions. So what what do you both do, and what has changed since you've graduated? Uh, I work for Advanced Polymers. I'm an engineering manager. Um, we uh, essentially design uh, medical devices. Mm -hmm. And uh, through the program, <coughs> um, just the experiences uh, allowed me to um, change my perspective of how I approach problems, how I approach uh, um, managing others. Uh, I have a group of engineers that I oversee. My mentoring style, coaching style has changed dramatically um, and I, I, I really contributed to the program. Uh, one of the um, <coughs> connections that we've made through the Sandbox was uh, there's a, a high school, uh, Notre Dame Crystal Ray High School in Lawrence and we were able to hire uh, a couple of students, actually three stu students during school year, and now we have two of them continuing to work for us. So we would have not made that connection, wow. and it's benefiting you know both the students and us, us as well. Absolutely, and you're you're passing on what you learned to even more people. Absolutely. So that's pretty remarkable. Right. And how about for you, Kamal? Well, there's there's uh, it's all that and more. So uh, the Leadership Institute does a great job at, at sort of breaking down barriers and walls that don't necessarily actively exist, but they just happen to exist. You know, and I interacted and got to be friends with people, um, some of whom have been on you know, cable shows here on LTC before. We live within a few minutes walk of each other, but we would never have met. We run in such different circles. And now we've been exposed to all these different groups and agencies and demographics. And I work in high tech and IT and things like that. 
Uh, and what I did is I found a need in the community to people for adult education and for young people who have who no longer have opportunities in high school and grade school to learn some of the shop classes and trade mm -hmm. skills that I had the opportunity when I was growing up. So we've created a nonprofit here in downtown Lowell called Lowell Makes, where it's a community workshop. And the idea is anyone can come there and learn a skill or teach a skill. And it could be anything from woodworking and metalworking to computer-aided design and 3D printing, you know, soup to nuts. And we're, 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 and we're partnering with groups like the Merrimack Valley Time Exchange, mm -hmm. uh, which also came out of the Sandbox Leadership Institute from the prior year's group. And so we really are putting down all these things. And it allowed me to take the community needs and overlay them with my own passions and others and we now have this this really exciting place that we're going to be opening up. Hopefully, in September, we'll have a big grand opening. Ooh, we're doing a soft fantastic. launch, hopefully before then. Yeah. But you know, hopefully, a big big grand opening in September. Well, as I actually happen to know that we will be profiling Lowell Makes a little bit more um, this weekend on the Folk Festival oh. coverage. We'll be coming by with one of our um, electronic news mm. gathering crews ah. to hear a little bit more about that. Um, but we only have just a second left. Sorry. So, if somebody wants to be a part of the next Mill City Leadership Institute. Is there a website that they can go check out to get more information? Uh, it's Lawrence. Well, it's on LawrenceCommunityWorks.org. Wonderful. So you just if you just search for Lawrence Community Works, it's you know right, you've typed in pretty much the whole website at that point anyway. Just right. add .org <laughs> on the end, and you'll see a thing from Mill City's Leadership Institute. All right. Well, Kamal, Nick, thank you so much for sharing with us about your experience with the Mill City's Leadership Institute. And right now we're going to take it back to Ryan and Greg to see where we're heading next in the.